It's time for Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather, sponsored by Scooter's Coffee. Here's your host, meteorologist Abby Dyer. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to your Monday. Oh, somehow it is October 16th, and we are talking about a whole lot of gloomy weather from over the weekend. Temperatures this morning are cold to start, but I do have good news for you to the start of the new work week sunshine returns in the forecast. It was really kind of dreary around the Ozarks this weekend, wasn't it? We had that drizzle and mist on the radar yesterday. It was just downright cold too, with highs staying in the low to mid fifties. And the Northwest wind was pretty brutal, 10 to 20 miles an hour gusts to 30, both Saturday and Sunday. And I have better news for you as we head into the new week. We're not only going to warm up, but the wind settled down for us as well. So if you were uh, waiting for some outdoor time, I think I have several days to choose from this week that you're probably going to like a whole lot better. One thing that I do have to headline in the forecast, though, is that frost potential is out there for tonight. And in fact, a few of you early this morning are waking up with some patchy areas of frost, places that are really protected from the wind this morning. I see a few obs out there that are in the upper 30s. So keep in mind, there could be a bit of light frost. I think it's primarily low-lying spots this morning. It shouldn't stick around long, but it could be more widespread as we head into the overnight hours tonight into Tuesday morning. I have a low temperature tonight of 36 degrees for Springfield. So certainly places that are nearby and lower lying will have the potential to get down closer to that freezing mark tonight. Today, though, we're starting out near 40 degrees, upper 30s for some, as I mentioned. And with the sunshine returning, I've got a little warm up for you in the forecast today. No change in that wind. It's still out of the northwest today and still pretty breezy. They have a 10 to 15 mile an hour wind today, but the sunshine alone helps helps us to get up into the mid 60s. We're seeing high pressure return on that weather map and I'm expecting it to be a pretty nice day in terms of sky condition. Nothing but dry skies across the Ozarks today. None of that drizzle or mist that we had around yesterday that was really just more of a nuisance than anything. We didn't get a whole lot of measurable rain out of it, but it was kind of on the radar, you know, messing up the windshield all afternoon. Frost in the forecast then for you tonight. That's the big headline. If you have sensitive plants, you want to keep the mums alive, cover them up or bring them indoors overnight tonight. We could have some patchy frost around with minimum temperatures, as I said, in Springfield, 36. But there will be a few areas around the Ozarks that get down to 34. And uh, this could mean any sensitive or uncovered vegetation could be at risk of getting some frost. So Potential impacts to early crops and buds are also possible. Cover up the sensitive vegetation and uh, maybe unscrew the garden hoses too if you still have those plugged in because a busted pipe could be a big mess. That's tonight. It's already getting to be that time of the year where we have to think about that sort of thing. Temperatures on Tuesday morning should stay down in the 30s through about probably 9 o'clock and then we'll see the 40s take off with sunshine back in the forecast. Warmer this week as we head into the next several days, you'll see a warming trend in my extended forecast. Uh, overall, too, this week, it's looking pretty dry across the Ozarks. You won't see any rain showers on the icons on the seven-day forecast. I think there's a small little tiny chance for rain out ahead of a cold front that comes through late Wednesday night into early Thursday, but it's not going to be a whole lot of rain. I mean, we're talking about a few showers and most of them will will arrive after 10 p.m., so we may not even notice uh, that rain on the radar that I have in the forecast Wednesday night into early Thursday. Probably some cloud cover, both of those, though, and I'm expecting just full sunshine today and tomorrow. Uh, the clear sky is one of the reasons that we'll see such cold temperatures overnight tonight, so prepare for that frost. Uh, one day only, I have the 70s back in the forecast this week. That's going to happen on Wednesday, but the rest of the week is looking rather nice, even behind the cold front Thursday, Friday, Saturday. High temps will be in the upper 60s, so pretty close to seasonal averages, and as of now, looks like we're going to have some sunshine around for next weekend, which will be a nice change compared to this one. Around the country, things are actually really quiet. We're not seeing a whole lot of big major weather systems. Of course, that powerful low pressure system up in the Northeast uh, is now moving out, uh, out to sea, so good news for folks on the East Coast. They're getting a bit of a break with the rain and active weather. It will be rainy and windy for the Pacific Northwest, both today and tomorrow, but the rest of the West Coast is looking fantastic with normal temperatures returning. And then one thing that I have been watching is Invest 94 
uh, out in the Atlantic has a high chance now from the National Hurricane Center of Development in the Atlantic. We'll have to watch that storm. It could become a tropical storm. If it does so, it would be named Tammy. Uh, but the forecast tracks on that, the spaghetti plots for that hurricane uh, track, it's not looking too bad. I mean, the Leeward Islands may be affected a little bit, but this has a uh, setup that looks very similar to Philippe, which we talked about last week, uh, and that one went out into open water. So that would be great if we could get that set up to take place. All right, it's time for the Scooter's Coffee around the Ozarks wake up weather brain twister question from last week. This is the one that I left you with. It was the young shuffle. The young shuffle is a form of what type of activity? And the options that I gave you were A, throwing a baseball, B, dancing, C, running, or D, playing poker. The young shuffle. If you submitted a guess at aroundtheozarks.com and you are any sort of uh, runner or athlete, you probably got this one correct. The answer is C, running. The young shuffle is a term used in running. It's a technique actually um, originally credited uh, Cliff Young is the runner, ultra marathoner who came up with this technique. Uh, it was popularized by Cliff Young and it's designed for long distance running. Uh, the idea here is to conserve energy as long as possible and it resembles more of a shuffle than a traditional running gait, which may take more energy, I guess. So you can ultra marathon it. If you do a little shuffle, I certainly have never gotten to that point in running, uh, but some have, and that's great for you. And if you uh, knew the answer, C, then you were entered to win a $20 gift card to Scooter's Coffee. By the way, uh, we've now been doing the gift cards here for a couple of weeks. I just want to give a shout out to these folks winning already. Cassandra, Debbie, Gina, Kimball, Katie, Richard, Sharon, Shauna, and Tammy, all winners from the last two weeks at Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather Brain Twister. Super fun. I hope you enjoy your Scooter's Coffee gift card. Uh, and if you haven't entered yet, it's super easy. All you have to do go to aroundtheozarks.com and you can find the daily brain twister question there. Submit your guess. If you are one that guessed it correctly, all those correct guesses go into a pool and we randomly draw for a winner. And here is your next chance. Here's the question for tomorrow. Which actual product was released with a pumpkin spice flavor or scent. We know people go crazy for the pumpkin spice, everything in fall. And you see all those like fake memes that go around social media, uh, like making things up like, Oh, pumpkin spice toilet paper. Uh, okay. One of these is real and was actually sold. So which one do you think it is? Do you think it is a pumpkin spice shrimp B pumpkin spice golf gloves, C pumpkin spice Q-tips or D pumpkin spice dog shampoo. Let me know your guess. You can submit that over at aroundtheozarks.com. Also there, you can find up-to-the-date weather information. So head on there for both. And thanks for listening this morning. Happy Monday to you. Let's make it a great week, everybody. We have pretty nice weather to enjoy. So we're looking forward to that. I will chat with you again early Tuesday morning.